Hello, I'm Garth Nix, and I'm very pleased to be here today in the Hot Key offices. And I'm going to read a little bit from my forthcoming book, Clariel, the latest book in the Old Kingdom series, which will be published by Hot Key in the United Kingdom in September next year, 2014. So here's a little sneak preview from Clariel. This is from the prologue, from the very beginning of the book. Old Merrill the fisherman lived in one of the oddest parts of Belisere, the ancient capital of the Old Kingdom. A proud city with high walls to defend against living foes and rushing aqueducts to keep out the dead. One tiny corner of the great metropolis lay outside the protection of both wall and water. Known to all simply as the islet, it was a rocky island just beyond the city's southeast sea tower. Joined to the mainland by a rough stone causeway, save at the highest tides. The island was inhabited by the poorest of the poor, the fisher folk who had lost their boats or drank too much or had suffered some calamity that kept them from the city's more prosperous fishing harbour further to the north. No one knew what had caused old Merrill to come to the islet. He had been there as long as anyone could remember, living in a shack made of driftwood and, and torn sailcloth, distinguished from the dozen or so other hovels on the islet only by its doorway in which a heavy curtain made of hundreds of shark teeth knotted onto a discarded fishing net served as a door. Old Merrill made his living, such as it was, as a beachcomber. He walked around the islet every morning, and if the tide was out, also went out along the rocks that faced the eastern seawall of the city proper. This could be very dangerous, for the tides in the Sea of Seir came in fast and high. In the old days, when the city walls were kept in constant repair, Murrell would have drowned many times. Now, with much of the smooth outer face of the wall eroded, there were hand and footholds enough to climb up out of the rushing waters, even carrying a small sack of whatever flotsam the sea had carried in on its blue-green back. One particular morning, the sack held a real treasure. <laughs> <laughs>